Okay, so question number six. Why does glucose 6-phosphate, um, why does it must be isomerized to fructose 6-phosphate in glycolysis? Okay, so let me show out this reaction scheme, starting with glucose 6-phosphate. So just bear with me while I write out the linear structure of glucose 6-phosphate. So notice that it's glucose in its linear form with a phosphate ion on the sixth carbon. So this is glucose 6 phosphate. And like the question mentioned, uh, this molecule is isomerized to fructose 6-phosphate. So let me show the isomeration using those arrows. And then I'll also draw the structure of fructose 6-phosphate. So with fructose 6-phosphate, phosphate, uh, our alcohol group is now on carbon 1 and there is now a ketone on our second carbon but the rest of the molecule is the same And this is fructose, 6 phosphate. Okay, so now I'm just going to show out the reaction that occurs right after this. So an ATP comes in. and adds an additional phosphate ion to that carbon-1. And because it is now an alcohol group, we can easily attach a new phosphate to this carbon. So it's kind of cut out. Let me just... So that's a double bonded oxygen at the top. And you can see that this ketone is here. And then the rest of the molecule looks the same.
And the name of this molecule is fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. So reason why we want to convert glucose 6-phosphate um, or we want, the reason why we want it to be isomerized to fructose 6-phosphate is um, so that it can get converted get phosphorylated or phosphorylated Then the step after that, then it can be easily split via a reverse aldol condensation. Because in the next steps of glycolysis, this big molecule will split into two smaller ones, and each of them will contain that a phosphorus ion. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. They said that the isomerization of glucose to fructose helps in the breakdown of glucose into three carbon chain molecules since an aldolase requires an adjacent carbonyl atom in the cleavage site. This helps ensure that the carbon will be split into two separate three carbon chain molecules and would undergo the same process after the cleavage. So notice that after this cleavage, then you would get the three carbon uh, chain molecules and the Aldolase requires an adjacent carbonyl atom, so in this case, it is this carbon right here. So the solution is correct.